What's going on guys? Welcome to today's episode. It is day 158, right? How's it going? What's going on? Guys and the few gals <laughs> that watch my videos. So I didn't weigh in this morning, but uh, I imagine I'm still right around 240. Um, yeah, whatever. But something I really wanted to talk to you guys about is something that I get asked pretty often and it's usually it's somebody will list to me what they're currently using as far as steroids goes and then they will ask me what they should use next of what should I do where should I go from here and guys the thing about that is you can't <laughs> you can't just ask that question with it being that open-ended because there are just there's so many things that go into what a cycle should look like, what you should be doing, how much you should use. And and like you can't just I have a problem with steroid users. I mean unfortunately unfortunately most of most of the steroid users that have come to me for help. Now, I understand that you're coming to me for help and to learn more about the subject, but there is an overwhelmingly amount of you that have no idea what you're doing or talking about. And it's, it is so, it is unfortunate. And it's not your fault. It's not your fault that you just don't know anything about it because it's hard to find information on it. Like, Sort of. I mean, if you're... I mean, it's not. <laughs> I mean, if you know anything about the internet and how it works, you can find absolutely anything that you want on the internet and learn how to do it. So when I've got guys coming to me telling me how many milliliters of something that they're taking, and I, like, they tell me how many milliliters of, of tests that they're taking a week, but they don't know how many milligrams per milliliter their product is. Like they have no idea if they're taking 200 milligrams a week, 400 milligrams a week, 600 milligrams a week, 1,000 milligrams a week. I had one guy come to me, he was taking 1,000 milligrams of test a week and he didn't know it. Like he didn't understand how the math worked on that. He just, for whatever reason, he was told to take like two milliliters of test a week and he happened to have 500 milligrams per milliliter of test E that he was taking and I was just like and he was wondering why he was getting all these side effects and why he was all bloated and he just hated it and he was getting acne and I was like dude you're on a thousand milligrams of test a week like that's that's a huge cycle for somebody that is new to the whole thing like what I'm going to advise you guys on you have got to go like I learned everything that I know about steroids gear HGH use from first of all going online and searching through forums and reading everything that I can on community forums that are dedicated to steroid use. That's where you start. You start there and read as much as you can and try. The thing there is you have to be able to kind of separate the real shit from the bullshit and people that know what they're talking about from people that don't know what they're talking about. And then once you do that, take that information and apply it to yourself and see what happens. Like it's, I've said this so many times in my videos that you have to be your own science experiment, but you have to know a little bit about what you are doing. But that's just it, is I've, I had, I had somebody contact me the other day saying that he didn't have a source for products and he didn't know where to get stuff from. And, and, and so after asking him a few questions, I realized he really didn't know a whole lot about anything on steroids and I was like dude you just need to go get on a forum a bodybuilding forum of some kind that has a steroid section and just go in there and just read read and learn 
don't even ask questions. Just go through and read everybody else's questions. Like you'll learn so much through, yes, most of it is like anecdotal experience, but it's experience that people have been through. And you can kind of, over time, reading through those forums, you can find out you know, who's legitimate and who just spouts shit and who just regurgitates something that they heard from somebody else and who's actually using this stuff and knows what they're talking about. And through that, then you go through and find all those people's posts and read all their posts because they're gold mines. I mean, the, those people on there, they're as good as finding somebody on YouTube and listening to everything that they say, except you gotta read, you gotta know how to read, guys. So, um, that's, that's just it, is you gotta take the time to go do the research. That's what somebody's sort of telling you when they tell you to do the research, it's number one, get online, get on a forum and start reading. Just start reading everything you can and then separate the bullshit from the real shit. Like that's, that's what's up. When I told this to this person that reached out to me, I said, get on a forum, get on a bodybuilding forum and learn. He didn't know what a forum was. He didn't know what the hell that was. <laughs> he was just like, I go to forums.com and search what? No, man. And so I just, I just gave him my top three bodybuilding forums that I like to uh, research on, read on. Um, because there's a lot of guys that go in there and they will post studies about certain things that they found. And there's they'll post their anecdotal experience and you know, what they felt from certain things. And, and you know, a lot of times for me, when I'm reading that stuff, I can, cause I've used everything and I can tell, you know, when somebody is legitimate, they're like, yeah, I experienced that as well. And, uh, but yeah, that, that's just it. So what I'm going to give you guys today are my top three bodybuilding forums that have steroid sections in there where people ask questions and learn things. So my top three bodybuilding forums, actually these are in no, no order of preference. I think they're all equally good if you can find the right members to listen to. So the first one that I'm gonna list is the Brotherhood of Pain. Brotherhoodofpain.com. Outlaw Muscle for number two. And number three is gh15.org. GH15.org has been around for a little while. I don't know how long Outlaw Muscle and the Brotherhood of Pain have been around, but um, GH15.org was is one of the websites that I have learned probably the most from. It used to be a closed forum. I don't know if it's still closed. They might be accepting new members, but I've been a member on there since it became um, a thing. And it was originally put together by GH15, who doesn't, he doesn't really talk a whole lot about steroid use anymore. He, he more, he's into a bunch of other stuff right now. I don't know, but it, he, he does, he is full of a lot of good information. Um, but there are also a ton of good members on there as well. Uh, but yeah, every single forum will have, you know, your trolls and your shitheads. But, you know, like I said, you've got to go in there, you've got to search, you've got to learn, you've got to read, and then try to divide the bullshit from the real shit. And, and I mean, that's where, that's where I started. That's where most of us start, I feel. But yeah, so before you come to me and start asking me questions about what I think you should do, go to those forums become a member on them and try to just go to the steroid section and try to learn everything you can. Just read people's experiences, people's responses to stuff, and you'll find a trend of how things work and, uh, and, and go from there. Um, so, I mean, the th I, I don't, the thing is, is I really don't like giving much steroid advice. I mean, I will, to people that I feel like know what they're talking about, that will give me 
their steroid history, where they're at, what they've been doing, and where they want to go. That's somebody that has their shit together and knows what they're talking about a little bit, but they just want somebody else's opinion on where they should go from there. But if you're a complete noob and you're asking me for advice and you didn't give me any information as far as what your goals are, where you want to go, where you've been, all of the cycles that you've done up to that point, you're, you're not ready to go on to the next steps. So, yeah, that's just something that's that's been bothering me lately and I really wanted to share that with you guys. For those of you that watch my videos that, that are learning and need more experience and want to learn more about it, you're, you will be, there is a wealth of knowledge on these bodybuilding forums. Granted, yes, there is some bullshit on it, but if you read enough and you take the time and you really want to learn about this shit, that's where you go to learn. And then you apply it to yourself and see what happens. Now, this whole, this whole thing, this whole scientific experiment is on you it's your personal choice to make these decisions okay so that's why i feel like you need to make that decision for yourself you need to decide for yourself how much i should be using and where i should go from there because unless you lay it all out there nobody knows where you've been what you're doing and where you want to go so that is my advice for you all today um, there are more forums out there. There's a lot of, there's a ton of forums out there. I mean, but the thing is, are, those are the ones that when I was up and coming to where I am today, those are where I learned the most from. I mean, there's like professional muscle, um, um, T Nation, and I mean, there's, there's just so many, but those are the three that... I appreciated the most so take that for what it's worth something else I wanted to say is that I'm going to take a break from posting on the weekends because number one it's the weekend and I want a weekend <laughs> Um, number two, the videos that I post on the weekends don't typically get the lowest amount of views. And I get it. You know, you guys are busy with your lives on the weekends and not doing the whole nine to five thing. Like I, my videos just get the lowest amount of views that are posted on the weekends. And that could be because it's the weekend. That could be because what I post on the weekend is more boring, but it's a trend that I've noticed that weekend videos get the lowest amount of views. So um, this is going to be the last weekend that I post. I'll post the video tomorrow and then we'll do Monday through Friday, but next Saturday and Sunday I will not be posting a video. So yeah, we're going to end the streak and we'll just be doing five days a week, Monday through Friday from then on out. So. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you appreciate this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Support the channel. Buy your supplements from redcon1.com. Um, you know, if any of you guys are running out of stuff, please use my code T20ChaseI. You can use it as many times as you want, as many times as you need. It's been over a month since we uh, started this Redcon 1 journey, and um, some of you should be running out of stuff. So remember, please use my code. It helps a ton. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will, I will see you all tomorrow.